give me a second to share this. Um, I'm just kind of like getting set up. I've been swapping some lights out and things like that today, and I'm just kind of hanging out. I'm gonna be um, giving you some downloads that you need because of this Equinox. I've really been trying to use the energy. It's pretty amazing. So give me a second to share this with you. If you're just joining me, you can go ahead and drop your name for a card. be giving away um, a third eye activation but if you're not catching me live and you're watching the replay you can still go ahead and share it because I'm real slow with everything it takes me a few days to get back to everything sometimes with video shares I've had a lot of um, information kind of like information overload I'm always like rapid downloading so much information and I have a lot of really amazing messages for today. I was really looking forward to doing this live this morning. <clears throat> I'm a little late with it, but here I am. And we're still feeling that kind of like Piscean energy, which is amazing for creating stuff. Um, I use any type of astrological events, kind of crazy weather, stuff like that to help me with my manifesting. Manifesting and energy are basically my two focuses. So I'm still using this energy to create things that I want. Let me just find the feed. So we are going to discuss um, a couple different things in between my cards. I want to talk to you about karmic patterns and how some of you guys, it might feel like you're just kind of creating the same scenarios, the same events that you really don't like time and again in your life and things like that. And it can just seem like you're on these same lessons, maybe you're drawing the same type of people to you that you don't like, things like that. And we are reliving these karmic patterns, not just from this life, but from our past lives as well. We really brought a lot of stuff with us, such as soul contracts and these blueprints that we came here to transmute. So that's going to be like something I'm going to be talking about today. Because I don't know if people realize we're in charge of creating whatever we like or don't like in our life. So anything bad, you're creating it with the vibrations and the energy that you're putting out. So a lot of people are like having these kind of fear-based things. Like on a daily basis, I'll get a lot of things projected at me just because of the things I deal with. And I'm noticing a lot of people are projecting fear my way lately. Like, this is going to happen awful. This will be bad. Like, I heard it the whole way before my trip. You'll die on the way there. This will go awful. This will happen. It will go horrible. And I'm hearing it again all morning, too. And I have to remember that people are just projecting their fears and their insecurities on me. And I have to be like, thanks, but no thanks. I have my own reality. And I think people are really forgetting that. Even though we have this unified consciousness... And we're all living through these exact same events. We actually have our own kind of universe and our own worlds here. And everyone is not aligning with us. So that's their reality. And that's exactly why I left where I was. Because I was getting projected on all of the time. And it was like sucking me into that reality that was not mine. And I learned such valuable lessons about being careful about who I let into my reality. But being very even more careful about whose reality I'm accepting as my own. Um, that can be really dangerous when we kind of get into that prison mentality and we get stuck in someone else's reality. We're here to create our own. And I think people are really getting lost in other people's at the moment. So we're seeing a lot of fear coming up with this purging. A lot of fear over relationships was like surfacing the past few days. Like, I don't know if people realize that it's not anything maybe your partner's doing it, your own fears, your own insecurities are just being reflected back to you. And that's been a really common theme with this because everyone was extra emotional. So a lot of people might have been having like relationship problems, things going on, emotions coming to the surface. Everyone is going through their own lessons and their own stuff. And we have our own kind of insecurities just coming out and projecting. Be mindful of that. 
I'm trying to see the comments. I'm kind of getting used to it. You guys have to bear with me because I'm on like information overload. I'm going through an intense purification process and because of just where I am and how events are turning out, I'm doing it really rapidly. So it's a lot to take in, like just on a daily, on a daily basis, I'm going through so much. It's like really intense for me. So I did get the iPod hooked up a minute ago. I got some music in here. I'm playing with the lighting. I got an LED bulb up here now and seeing if I need like a lamp. We were gonna put more string lights up, but we didn't want to. So we're kind of like doing things around here and um, I'm gonna be working on helping or starting my own kind of like in-person Reiki business separate from my site right here, which is really exciting to me because I can really do like anything I want with the space. And we're gonna be doing like 30 minute pyramid meditations and me and my friend were talking about what we wanna do here and it's really exciting for us because it's like a new beginning for everything. Like we just have so many ideas and manifestations and creations that I can do right here. And it's pretty amazing because I like to build things. Like I built my entire last reality and it's really crazy for me to just kind of leave and try to do something different. But that's just what I do. So I'm really excited about it. And uh, this energy is perfect for what I'm trying to do because we're moving into Aries right now. And my ascendant is in Aries and then next we have Taurus. So those are kind of like my elements anyway. I can really harness any element um, just for my archetype. So I'm looking forward to switching it up from water, the emotions, to fire, which is creating things. Trisha, I was trying to figure out how to check in too. Hang on one sec. Wait one minute. I'm not sure how to do it live. I was trying to check in somewhere. Give me one second. I'm going to do your card trash for coming. I can't do it live, but I can after. <clears throat> Trisha, it's a lovely energy. Um, I know a lot of people are still creating things that they don't like and their fears. And, oh, my God, this will happen. You're creating every one of your thoughts. Every thought will turn into a manifestation of some sort. So we have a lot more control over our reality than people like to believe. Trisha, you're working on grounding yourself. Um, and I was like reminded of that yesterday. I'm supposed to be that grounding element um, for people just because I'm an earth sign. You're supposed to be grounding people right now. A lot of people are just so ungrounded with things. Like I keep telling everyone that we just have so much PTSD that was passed down genetically through humanity. And these events like 9-11 and wars and terror attacks just kind of bring it out of humanity on a massive level. So we just see so much like fear energy and people are grounded and kind of living with those first three chakras blocked or not being able to move past them. So just really work on being that grounding force. Cassandra King, you're working on real prosperity. Um, I put out vibes just pretty much for love and abundance all the time so that I'll get those kind of manifestations back to me. So a lot of people are always trying to work on things outside of themselves. I focus more on my energy and myself and less on everything around me. And I find that when I do that, everything just kind of falls into place for me energetically. I become very magnetic and kind of can just easily attract or draw to me the type of things I need. Oh, Rachel says the lighting looks good. I know we've been doing huge things like every day around here. I'm gonna bring my art paper back. I'm trying to remember that. I'm gonna maybe do some painting later. I'm really excited because I'm all about like creativity and using it as a way to unplug from the matrix. Rachel, you're working on memories of love. We just did some intense emotional purging where you're thinking about your life and your relationships and just kind of everything. You make your mind kind of crazy. That's why you really need to meditate. Um, if most people with anxiety or depression would meditate, that would actually just kind of fade away. So meditate more and realize that you're just kind of doing a lot of healing work. Candice Wilson and Hope. Um, I draw the energy workers to me. I draw the healers to me. I'm not sure like for whatever capacity. Um, I just kind of have put out a calling. I've put out a very strong calling for my soul group. So a lot of people just kind of find me and um, all the healers I've noticed. So you're an amazing healer, but you are gifted with light balls too. Um, and that's an amazing gift and ability. So work more with light balls. Ginny wants us to take your time. 
Well, I'm trying to teach people, number one, it's different to talk about this kind of stuff on a feed because I see a lot of people posting in the spiritual community on a daily basis about all of this stuff, and it's different to actually be doing it in your everyday life. I'm finding that a lot of people are posting about it and talking about it, but when it comes down to it, they're kind of creating the same realities they did when they were asleep. So I'm trying to kind of convey to people that we have more control over this reality and everything that we don't like here, we're creating too. So we can go ahead and blame the Illuminati and the elite and all of these people, you know, the bad guys. But it's actually us creating it with awake conscious minds at the moment. So we really need to focus more on what we're creating in our everyday lives to kind of fix the collective. I still see a lot of fear and negative vibrations. We talk about this stuff all day. We know we live in a manifest reality that the law of attraction is real and whatever we're talking about or thinking about will happen. So why are we putting out these kind of fear vibrations and negative vibes still? So we really have to work on this more because it is a manifest reality. And the reason why we're still here is because we will be dangerous in higher dimensions where you just instant manifest anything you're thinking about. This is a school. And the mental aspect is really like a huge part of this. So work on your mind and how you still it will be meditation. Priscilla. Yes, um, I'm all about lovely spaces anywhere I am. It's a tourist thing because I like to just be in the same spaces, so I had to have them a certain way. So I really um, had to have my spaces a certain vibration to be in alignment with me. So if I was like, one time I was living in an apartment <laughs> that was not in alignment with me, <clears throat> and I watched the entire pretty much place fall in, like really rapidly around me. So when you're not in the right space, the universe will usually move me along really rapidly. Work on your heart chakra. We have so much that we have to do with our heart chakras in living on authentically. And everyone has experienced some type of grief or some type of tragedy in their life, but it was actually a means to open your heart chakra to that kind of unconditional love. And I guess I'll insert this here. I have to somewhere. Um, afterwards, if you guys need me, the link is above to our site. I do a Akashic record reading so I can access future timelines, past timelines, all sorts of information because I do read energy and the Akashic is an energy. But I also teach Reiki, I do activations, so the link is above if you guys need me. And I would recommend getting a chakra opening because I would scan your entire body. So for anyone getting like a chakra card, you probably need to work on that chakra. Trisha is stabilizing her emotions. She just went through a crazy purge. She's doing amazing, but she's taking care of the things that she needs to take care of in her life because the universe is going to ensure that. And it's pretty amazing to watch you cutting ties karmically. It's been amazing. <clears throat> I know it can feel frustrating, but just know that in the end, you'll be liberated. Jen Jenny, fulfillment of wishes. This is like you get a free manifestation card today. It's very important with this equinox energy that we're putting out the right kind of energy and vibrations because we're manifesting at an all time high right now. Like literally, I was instant manifesting the craziest stuff all morning and it's pretty regular lately. So just be aware that you're really instant manifesting. So be careful with your thoughts and what kind of vibrations you're putting out there. I don't know if you guys know about the nature of reality, but I'm gonna put out vibrations for the things I want. And I'm going to put out these vibrations, and then if anyone else is putting out the same vibrations, they will get matched up with me. It's just kind of how this energetic field works. So it's very important that we're putting out the right vibrations all of the time. Brandon Roberts. <laughs> Suffering in silence. Um, we're all deeply connected, literally, and it's pretty amazing. So you're definitely not alone. Call on your angels and your galactic team for more assistance. Um, you should see the things I do all the time. You maybe are not being more, you're maybe you're not being clear with your requests and the things that you need. So be more clear, call on your guides. Um, Jenny wants me to do the news. I haven't been in a space to do the news, but my vibrational frequency has kind of surpassed any of that news at the point at this moment. So I'm not going to be doing news anymore. I will be doing more like of my meditation feeds and things like that, just because I like the vibration better. Um, and I don't really care what's going on in the world because I literally have kind of raised up out of all that. So I won't be doing the news anymore, but I'll be doing other things um, because my focus is on love, not destruction right now. I know there's that going around and I can watch 3D falling in at all I want, but, and I can help with that too because I am an indigo, I am a system buster, so I can help dismantle things.
but I would rather be on the creativity side right now where I'm building the new and anchoring into higher light frequencies. So I'm not going to be doing the news at all. I'm going to be focusing more on love centered things and that's where you're headed too. That's where all this all ends. Work on more self love. Um, I'm really good at manifesting love, but that's because I've mastered self love. So I kind of emulate it. So when you're loved, you'll draw love to you and pull partners to you. So work on more self love. I'm always evolving and changing and growing with the things I do. I just got bored with the news and uh, I just wasn't feeling it anymore. Lily Hussey, spiritual union. I am trying to kind of, with my feeds, get you guys at a place where you can manifest that ultimate love, that love with your complete soul. So really work on spiritual unions as your focus. We're leaving a period of darkness and into the light for the rest of the year, literally. And spring is about rebirth. And it's pretty amazing because we're going to be creating new things. So we just saw a lot of destruction and things falling apart in your life and making space for new things. And now you're going to be creating beautiful things this summer. And I'm really excited. Marlene Gnu, solar plexus. Um, literally work on your solar plexus. You're dealing with ego issues, but you're also taking on a lot of lower energies that are not your own. Make sure you're detoxing your aura properly. I tell everyone to take salt baths. Literally, um, cut your cords, get out into nature, things like that. Trisha's grounding. Good. <laughs> I need to ground the speed. I'm trying to ground the energy on the feed. It can get kind of intense when I have so many people on energetically for me. That's why I always get off so fast. Cassandra King. I'm always, well, as long as people don't come near me with their issues and project on me. I'm usually a real zen gal. It's just kind of my vibe. Um, like real chill. Partnerships and alliances. We're working on non-romantic relationships right now with friends, family members. And I found on my own ascension journey, because I've been doing um, this awakening and light work for a while now, I found on my own journey that as I healed myself and as I pieced myself back together, amazingly, all of the relationships in my life changed as well because we are that original fractal or that mirror. So work on yourself and it will improve everything around you. Aspasia, amazing. I'm glad that Aspasia was checking out on um, some shamanic healing, which is my first love. It's pretty amazing. I think that's awesome. Um, and I'm looking forward to you learning more about that in the future. Choose wisely. Don't make any big decisions right now. I told you guys not to take on too many projects. Like, I love this card because you drown. Like, it doesn't matter which probability you take, you're going to drown. So don't take on any huge projects right now. You're healing. You're doing a crazy emotional detox. And I don't know if people realize the effects relationships can have on us. Like, literally. Um, there's just so much spiritually going on. I don't really want to get into it. But I see a lot of people that have to recover after these relationships with certain people, maybe entities involved, whatever it is. You have a lot of energetic healing to do. And I know that when I had, um, I had damage to myself, it took me a good like year to really repair my light body and to hear, heal it. So you're still healing. Um, be kind to yourself. Rest more, more water. Marsha Kelly, good morning. New beginnings. That's what I'm looking forward to because I've been doing a lot. I had to go through a lot of destruction and all this stuff um, to get where I'm at. And every day is going a lot better. It's amazing. My vibrational frequency is raising fast. And I'm really loving this new beginning. But I would not have got here without basically hitting the reset button and going through that destruction and dismantling and getting rid of things not serving me. And it makes it a lot easier if you do it yourself. I could have waited and had the universe make me <laughs> like I used to do when I was asleep. I could have had the universe make me do that. But I would rather just read the signs and make it easy on myself at this point. Oh, Christina Maria, I love the painting too. This whole place is really awesome. There's actually planets on the other wall too. <clears throat> it looks like the planets. We're playing with the lighting, like I tried from the other angle, but the whole room is pretty amazing. I got um, I got some chakra art coming now for the room. I'm real excited to get it up and stuff like that. And I'll end up bringing all my crystals over here, which will be awesome. 
pristine discontent and boredom. I always say if anyone's bored, um, you can go ahead and get a past life reading. You can go ahead and get your astrology done so you can look more into your past lives, things like that. Get to know yourself better if you're bored. You'll never be bored again. Brenda, and she's a Taurus too, that's why I was like immediately drawn. Obstacles and challenges, it's us doing it to ourselves with our thoughts and the vibrational frequencies we're putting out. The universe is never ever punishing you or setting things up for you. We do that on our own. It's only ever responding to the frequencies and the thoughts that you're putting out. So stop blocking yourself. Um, a lot of these blocks are energetic. That's why I love my work. Maybe check out a scan and a chakra opening if you feel blocked. Tammy Christian, emotional withdrawal. That's how I feel today. Like I literally was gonna go to Starbucks, but it's raining, so I ended up just coming here and I'm kind of just like thinking about manifesting food and going and finishing my work and chilling a lot today. Um, so we should be resting this week, literally. I always go by the moon cycles and we have a full moon, I believe, next week. So this is our week of rest. Rest up, disconnect, more salt baths, more healing. You should be using this energy to rest and for energy work. <laughs> Lily is seeing crazy light action around me. I told Aubrey that, that we had to move it back here because if I was right under the light, it would be too crazy. Um, we'd be in the light. Like we, I haven't seen the sun for like a year in my life, like the real sun. I don't know how it is where you guys live, but when I have real sun, I can do like crazy things with it and I love it. Um, I always have a lot of um, spirit activity around me. Lily, recognition and reward. Um, we were talking about how we should be celebrating. Like I know I'm always like stressed out and like I have so much to do like everyone else and we just feel like, you know, all those prison planet vibes. But in actuality, we should all be celebrating and relaxing and chilling and resting more because we've done an amazing job just to get where we're at. Yeah, it's making it really crazy for downloads too. So I've been like, you know, do you, I have a whole new routine here because I'm starting a whole new life. So I've been like writing more and like reading and it's been pretty amazing. So it's an amazing time to make grids too right now with this energy. Marlene Gertu, the waiting game. Um, they want you to wait for heaven or Jesus or their gods or anyone or some reptiles to come save you and torture you things like that in the matrix but we know that this is about stepping into our own power remembering who we are and doing things ourselves here so stop waiting and take control of your life and i know a lot of people talk about it but you have to really do it you have to put this stuff into action i know people are like oh this is the law of attraction and ascension it's less about talking about it and more about doing this stuff and everyone knows what they have to do Tammy Austin, everything is just happening like crazy fast for me. I don't know if you guys are seeing my posts or whatever, who knows. Um, but things are always just feeling like they're going so fast since I left to come here. And I knew that before I left. Like before I left, I remember being like, I should just be really grateful because I know this is going to be crazy as soon as I leave. And I already knew all this, but I didn't know it would be that hard or I definitely wouldn't have probably done it. The universe will give us just enough to make sure we end up where we need to go, pretty much. But as things are happening more and more rapidly, I'm finding a need to slow down more and more, like to be that grounding force. So I'm just kind of like focusing on myself, going within, spending more time meditating. Um, Chris wants to know how we can give third eye activations. Once you're activated with your own energy, you can activate other people. Literally, so I've already been activated. Um, I'm not sure how many strands of DNA I'm on, but I've already had all mine activated past 12 strands, and my third eye is open and I'm activated. And you should be celebrating too. That's like the theme of the day. Aubrey pulled this card. She was like playing in the pyramid. She wasn't feeling good. She was feeling sick. And this this pyramid is actually really powerful energy as well too. Like I've gone in this pyramid when I had a third eye headache from psychic attack and it literally just healed me instantly. And Aubrey was like really hung over and sick yesterday and she came in late in the pyramid and like instantly felt better. That's why I'm broadcasting from it. So um, I'm using this Equinox energy to send healing energy and to activate you guys, but also you'll be getting downloads off of watching this. That's why I like had to do it with this energy, but we should just be chilling, resting this week and celebrating. Once you're activated, 
and you've reached certain levels, auric levels, you're going to activate the people around you just naturally. So it can feel like we're not doing a lot, like we're on prison planet, we're not doing a lot. But when you're just at a grocery store or you're out in the matrix around someone energetically, we're doing huge things around people. Jody Munez, light. Um, we have enough light to light up this whole planet, and that's all it wants. All, that's all we need. A lot of people think that you're gonna fight, fight this stuff with hate and things like that, but the only way that you transmute hate is through love. <laughs> I know I have so many people on here. It's making my energy crazy already. I was trying to figure out how to escape fast. Amy Burnock. I know it's been a while. Um, I've had an intense few weeks. I'm still kind of detoxing and recovering. Um, I've had a really like intense few weeks here. Um, but I'm hoping to ignite like a passion where people can see me leaving these, um, leaving this life I wasn't real satisfied with. And maybe people will take note and do the same thing because we're all kind of in a cocoon still and we're all going to have to do this. And people are getting really hung up on like the material and things around us, which is all just going to kind of ultimately fade away. When you have your heart chakra open, it's pretty amazing. Most people on this planet are stuck at a third density level. They have yet to pass that. So they're going to vibrate in the first three chakras. So anyone with an open heart chakra is just going to emulate a different kind of energy. It makes you pretty magnetic. Like I didn't have to really post this a lot of places and a lot of people will just come find me because of that magnetic energy. Well, pretty much everyone watching this should be the same way, and it's pretty amazing. As you work on your energy, you'll just become more and more magnetic. <laughs> Lily's seeing the lights again. Let's see, Nisa Ray needs a car because she's always driving them for me. All right, trapped in fear, it's the theme of the day. We have so many fears, like even me on this trip, like I thought I had conquered all my fears. I mean, like once you kind of conquer that fear of death, what else do you have to be afraid of? But I was noticing that I had a lot of kind of fears surfacing, which was kind of crazy to me. We have to be really careful with our fears that we're not manifesting the things that we do not like. Lisa Tavares has seen flashing lights too. Yes, we love stuff like that. I have a really lovely, I always show you my little aura hacks. Like I'm always trying to have everyone do auras. Once everyone has that down, I have a UFO hack for the summertime, but you need the sun out or you can actually catch UFOs by doing little hacks. So it's pretty amazing. There's amazing things around us all the time. I can, I'm one that can see a lot of the paranormal and there's just the most crazy, profound, amazing stuff around us all the time. So, you're working on your crown chakra, Liz, literally, and a lot of people are vampiric without even trying just because they've lost that connection with source, and there is that life force energy that we need to survive. So instead of meditating and tuning in and getting spiritual and working on that crown chakra, they tend to siphon it off of others, a lot of the time not even really realizing it. Work on your crown chakra, work on meditating more. greater mission that's pretty amazing. I'll be here all day too. You can just purchase it through our site or message me and I am going to be getting back to my site orders like within like an hour of getting off of here. So I'll be here all day and it would be pretty amazing. Work on your own intuition and strengthening here. You're also working on your third eye and I like to draw certain types of people to me that have their third eyes open and are awake and kind of at a certain state of awareness. So just work on following your own intuition because it's amazing too. I see Angela, who's going to be my last card. You're working on balance, literally, in your life, and you're doing that because you got rid of the GMO meat and all the garbage food, and now you're really going to start to regulate your energy and raise your vibration, which is so, so amazing, like, literally. Um, I'm going to let you guys go on that note, but I just was hoping to send you a, a lot of really good energy. I'll be back on live probably tomorrow from the Kudalini Cave. 
I'll be checking in there too if you guys want to check out um, where my new little spa room is. Um, I'll be letting you guys go on that note. Love and light. <laughs>